Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. I am trying to put a wrap on this build for the Knights Templar Iron Man mashup that I've been working on for months. I know I stretch it out quite a bit and a lot of you have been asking when the next pieces are going to be made and I really feel like it's coming to an end. After I did the the tunic and all that stuff, it, it kind of is to a point where I'm satisfied with it. Now I have got a cape and some belts and some strapping and a couple of modifications that I need to make, but I don't know that those things are necessarily video worthy. So my idea is to kind of do a little cap of those little detail things to kind of show you what is going to tie it all together and then like maybe take you on an actual like professional photo shoot with the photographer and stuff and and kind of document that a little bit and kind of reveal it to you as a full decked out finished in result. So that's my idea. Let me know if you're interested in that in the comments below. But today I thought why not build something to cap it off to house that awesome sword that we built a while back. So my idea is to like build a scabbard for my sword using some more of that foam armory scale mail that Ben Eady and Stephanie Chan put out there to kind of just put the icing on the cake, give a housing for this awesome sword so that I can wear it and then be done with it. So today we are building the final piece to the Iron Man Knights Templar mashup, a scabbard for my epic sword. Let's get to build. I didn't really make a pattern for this build, but I thought showing you more of the process would be more helpful and accommodate more people with weapon builds who need to build a scabbard, so making it a more generic thing. I started by tracing the perimeter of my sword onto a piece of 6mm What the Foam from Cosplay Apprentice. It's a lot denser foam than normal EVA and will give me that rigidity that I need for a good, strong, sturdy scabbard. Then I rough cut out the shape, leaving plenty of room on each side. Then I measure the sword at the thickest point to get a rough idea of how thick a strip I need to cut for the sides of the scabbard. I would recommend adding a couple millimeters to it. I did not and had to make modifications later to accommodate my mistake. I cut strips of 10 millimeter EVA foam and glue them onto the edge of that sharpie line I made. I use barge contact cement for the glue up and if you are wondering why it's on its side, the glue be getting low. I buy mine in bulk on Amazon so I always have one or two cans waiting in the wing and just swap it out. Once my strips are glued on and trimmed, I cut another sword face like before and sandwich it on the top. Thank you. 
Once I have my parts glued together, I realize that it's too snug for my sword and might rub off my paint job. It's catching on the engraving ridge on the middle of my blade, so my solution is to add a raised area to each side at that location to give it a little bit of leeway. So I cut off enough space to accommodate the ridge and try putting down some two millimeter foam to bridge the gap. After that was on, I realized it's too flimsy and I need to glue a thicker piece on top. So I rip it off and glue thicker six millimeter. I'm making this up as I go, as I do with most of my builds, and wanted you to see that I just adapt the design to fit the problem. Uh, just going with the flow, who knows, my mistake might be a feature in the end. Now I plan to cover this thing in scale mail, so it doesn't really matter if it's pretty or perfect or even or anything like that, but I wanted to make a nice edge so that my scale mail can round over the corners. I used my handy little edge tool from CosTools to make an even mark so that I could get relatively close and kind of knock this bad boy out by sanding it down with my rotary tool. The scale mail comes in these pre-cut sheets of 2mm foam. You just have to pull them off of the perforation and pop out all the holes. I make sure to save them for rivets and other details later. Here I am like a champ pulling out four layers at a time. <laughs> Man, that transition really helped me to make light work of it. After it is all punched out, time to start weaving them together. I have two stacks because there are two different types of strips. One, the seam runs in the middle of the loops, and the other, the seam runs in between the loops. This variation allows you to stagger your seam lines on the scale. Assembly is simple. You put on a series on Netflix, push one row of loops in between another, and continue until you zone out and lose your mind from repetition. Just kidding. It's not that bad. Especially not as bad as real scale mail, so let's go! <laughs> I decide to glue it down in two more manageable strips of scale. You just glue the back of the scale mail and then also glue down the item that you are gluing it to. Let the contact set up for a few minutes and then tack it down. I did a sloppy job of laying it down tightly so I had a couple of gaps on the back side. Not a big deal as you'll really not see this when I'm wearing it anyways but me being me I decided to patch it up anyways cutting out little pieces of the scale mail and plugging the holes. Repeated the same process for the second layer except I took my time and laid it down flat on the next one. Oh. 
because I have this raised panel now due to my mistake I thought why not add an engraving on the front of this thing so like I said before my mistake will now be a featured detail on the front of my scabbard I'm like Bob Ross with foam smithing here making happy little accidents all over the place I am not comparing myself to Bob Ross he is an amazing genius and if you didn't grow up watching him there may be something wrong with you, you need to go back and watch him truly I make a frame out of some four millimeter EVA and glue it over the rectangle to hide these seam lines of my scale mail. Since I'm gonna engrave it anyways, I might as well make it nicer and do it on the Glowforge laser cutter. You could totally skip this and do it with a wood burner or just paint it on there by hand with some paint at the end, but my hand isn't that steady and I figured it'd look better if I had it engraved. So I will recommend that you quadruple check the translation from English to Latin. Why? Because Google Translate gave me 7 billion different translations for Guardian of the Infinity Stone. I am Iron Man. I engraved it once only to realize that the translator was not right when I compared it to another one so I had to redo it but at least me redoing it reminded me hey you should probably hit record this time and document you making this so here is the correct version at least I think so I'm, I don't really speak Latin so I'm sure somebody will correct me if I didn't hooray <laughs> two coats of Plasti Dip. Taped off the parts I wanted metal to hit the scale with red spray paint. Then to cap it off, I hit the remaining parts with some gold and silver rub and buff to tie it in with the rest of my Knights Templar Iron Man build. To add some more accents, I use some metallic paint pens for those smaller bits to get to. It's just easier than trying to get in there with rub and buff to do that, so I'm pretty much saying that this is done now. I didn't add the strapping or any of that stuff because I'm going to figure that out later and adjust positioning and all that stuff when I actually put the suit on. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, not too bad of a build. Fairly simple to put together. And I think it kind of caps off this project in a very nice way, giving my sword a home to live in permanently. Um, I didn't include a template because you can, you can see kind of from the process, it's literally just building a box around whatever the shape of your weapon is. Uh, but not too bad, not too difficult. Easily done within a few hours. Maybe you will try and make one of these yourselves and impress your friends with your ability to turn something from your imagination or something that you uh, got an idea from somewhere. Yeah, I don't really know. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. I mean, it is a holder for my sword, but I don't really, I don't really need that. I'm just gonna beat the mess out of you with this. So, on guard! Yeah, yeah. If you enjoy what I do here on YouTube and want to see more builds like this one, please consider joining these awesome people listed here with me over on Patreon to create a bigger, better, more creative community together.